52 Traders, episode 139. Stick to one method that makes sense to you and your lifestyle and trade it. Join Cam every week on the 52 Traders podcast or at 52traders.com to learn how to trade like the pros. This podcast is for educational and entertainment purposes only and is not investment, trading, or financial advice of any kind. What's up, traders? Welcome to another installment of the 52 Traders Podcast. I'm your host, Cam Hawkins, and today we have Kim Krompus on the show from West Coast of the United States. So we're going to hear from Kim in a second. It was a fantastic show, actually. She uh, she does have a lot of experience, and she shares a lot in the show, a lot of good advice, a very calm and methodical approach. You'll love this show, guys. Trust me. Now, before we get into it, a couple of things first. So, things that have been changing with me. So, we've got this uh, forum that I talked about in the last uh, last episode. So, we've got some fantastic guys over there uh, sharing what they're doing, sharing their trades. I'm also sharing my trading, and my trading has turned a corner a bit in the last couple of weeks. I feel that something has clicked Okay, it's quite unusual in terms of what I normally uh, feel. So I don't normally feel that these sort of things have, uh, what's the word? Um, I don't normally feel this way about my trading, okay? For the last probably, I don't know, well, it's the last week actually, and even the last couple of weeks, I've been doing a lot of back testing. I've been trading pretty much every day. And uh, I'm doing it with a with a little bit of a handicap, and I'll tell you what that is in a second. But I found that things are starting to to work in my favour. And do you know what the main thing has been? The main thing that has changed it all. It is that I've come up with an objective way to enter the market. Okay, and that's all I did. I st- uh, before that I was just being too dynamic. I had too much going on. Too many, uh, I suppose, ways to enter a trade. I trimmed it back to one particular way that was very simple for me to understand. I'm not too sure if many other people can understand it, but I can understand it. Very simple way to enter the market, and it's been working wonders. So, like, I had my first uh, 60 pip day. I had a losing day uh, on Monday, and I lost. I lost probably upwards of 28 pips. The next day. I made 30 pips on top of that, so I ma- I bought my 28 back and made another 30. Um, the following day, I had a losing day again. I think I lost 20. Today, I'm in a trade already. I've locked in profit. It'll be a winner. So, guys, things are looking up. You know, if it's not going to be a break-even month, it's going to be a positive month. I'm feeling positive that it's going to be a positive month, and I'm adding to this strategy as well. So, I've now now that I've locked down a base, I can add to it. So, if this helps anyone. I hope it does. Um, if not, have a listen to the rest of the show because I'm sure Kim's going to give us some great insights. Or oh, I know she does, and you guys are going to take away some some more information there. Just one or two little things from these shows, guys, is all you need to add to your plan, your trading plan. Okay, so that's my advice: take one or two things, add it, try it out first, test it. If it works, it makes sense. Then add it in if it's logical. Okay, guys. So um, and the other thing I was going to mention. Uh, so I did say earlier on in the year that you know I was dedicating myself to trading full time this year and uh, doing it full time. And what I found was that you know my, I could only do it for for a period of time um, before you know that the, the recruitment agents came after me and offered me jobs, and I ended up going back into uh, into the workforce. And so I'm back there now in the workforce, doing the nine to five. I'm, I'm doing four days a week, which it's pretty good. So it's good in, from a couple of points of view. One is my wife loves it. She was absolutely sick and tired of seeing my face at home every single day. And she was leaving the house just to get away from, get some get some time away from me because I was literally camped here. And she's like, after four days it was, four days, are you going to leave the house or what? And I'm like, well, <laughs> this, is what I do, this is what I do at work. I sit down and do work. So this is what I'm doing at home. But I think that's got to change if I do this again, guys. If I, if I, I mean, this is a three-month thing that I'm, I'm going back to now. So if it gets extended, I don't know. But um, it's good to be out in society again. And look, who knows where it's going to end up. We'll see. We'll see what happens at the end of the year. But I mean, the trading has turned, which is good. And hopefully it gives me enough momentum to, to you know, 
get some funds on the door when uh, when this contract ends. Let's see. Right, without further ado, let's get on with the show. All right, folks, we've got Kim Krompus here on the 52 Traders podcast. How's it going, Kim, over there in the wine country outside of San Francisco? It's going wonderful today. <laughs> it's going great. Thanks, Cam. I, I just I just jumped on your Twitter profile because I, I read your bio and, and saw your Twitter um, it was like where you post most of your stuff. Is that picture yeah. anywhere anywhere near where you are? It's a lovely picture of a beach there. Yeah, it is actually. It's one of my favorite places where we go to the beach house in Carmel, which is just south of San Francisco along the beautiful coast of California. Oh, lovely, lovely. Oh, I'll have to yeah. head out that way sometime. Um, and uh, and so you're from Price Action Traders Institute, which has been running since 2012. Um, but before we sort of get to your more current recent form, I want to dive a bit deeper into your story. So to find out like where you started, how did you get into trading first off, and then how you got to where you are now? Sure. Um well, it goes back um, a rather long way, but I'll just try to give you the Reader's Digest version, which is I'm a CPA licensed in California, although I don't practice anymore. I have a financial background, clearly. I My undergrad degree is in economics, and I have a master's in business. And back in 2001, so we're going back, yikes, 17 years ago, I retired from um, that, and I got into the markets. I've always been interested in the markets, even though as a practicing CPA and running another business, I didn't have a chance to really dive in. So in around 2005, I actually got into Forex and into the currency trading world. So I've been doing that about 12 years now, 13 years. And as you mentioned at the beginning of this, I started the Price Action Traders Institute back in 2012. And it was based on an idea I had about t helping traders to trade price action only. And it's become a very interesting journey and an interesting business. Not only my own trading, as you mentioned, out on Twitter, that's where I post all of my trading during the New York session. And um, so that's kind of my background. Okay, and so, so sort of diving a little deeper on that, I mean, what what uh, what steps did you take to, I suppose, get to the point where you could make a living from this? All right, folks, hope you enjoyed that little teaser of the interview there. Now, as I said before, my name's Cam Hawkins, and this is 52 Traders. Look, it's been said that the fastest way to become rich is to find a successful trader and simply do what he's doing. However, the challenge is finding someone who really knows what they're doing and who's willing to share. Now that's what you get here at 52 Traders and that's what you get in this interview, the full interview and all the other ones that I've done. Look, since 2015 I've been finding the very best traders who know what they're doing and getting them to share their expertise. Now during this interview you're going to hear just one of over 100 interviews that I've done and I know you're going to love it. but this interview is just the tip of the iceberg, so over the course of the next 30 days, you'll have free access to my entire library of interviews with over 100 of the world's best traders. And you'll also enjoy my private chat room where past guests and other full-time traders are sharing charts and helping other traders 24-7. Have you ever wanted to talk to Larry Williams, who turned 10K into 1.1 million in less than a year? Or how about Timothy Sykes, Andrea Unger, Al Brooks, or Rob Booker? They're also in there along with many more. When you get started today, you'll immediately receive access to interviews with dozens of world-renowned experts in Forex, stocks, bonds, commodities, cryptocurrencies, options, and futures trading. And the great news is this series of interviews grows each month. That's because every month I talk to some of the best traders in the world, getting them to reveal their step-by-step -step trading methods and the secrets behind their trading success. So whether you trade Forex, futures, stocks, options, or cryptocurrencies, the knowledge and methods these traders share will help you take your trading profits to the next level. So why not give it a try? It's only $5 to get started and have instant access to over 100 interviews 
with some of the world's top traders and the 24-7 chat room where you get direct access to some of the world's best traders. Then after 30 days, if you like the comprehensive education you're getting, you can continue to receive up to four new interviews each month and the 24-7 chat room for only $5 a month. But if not, there's no obligation to continue. Where else would you get such direct access to the world's best traders for what many pay for a cup of coffee? So go ahead, click the link in the show notes or go to 52traders.com and start learning from some of the world's best traders. Trust me, you'll be glad you did.